Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be a favorites video. I am very excited. I don't do these that often, usually every couple of months, partly because I forget and partly because, you know, I often do use a lot of the same products. But yeah, I thought I would share a favorites video with you today and let's just get into it. I have a few non-makeup favorites. I thought I would just share those first. The first is a perfume, and I bought this at the beginning of the year where I actually bought a couple of new perfumes, and I am loving this one. This is Rihanna Rebel Fleur. This is fantastic. First of all, this bottle is really, really cool. I really like that, and the scent is amazing. This is my kind of scent. It's definitely a little sweet, but not super sweet. It has a bit of a sultriness to it, it's fantastic. I really like it. The only thing is that because the bottle is so narrow up here, it's kind of hard to spray it on yourself, I've noticed, but it's amazing. Really, really like it, and it does last well also. One skincare product to mention, and that is this Formula 10.0.6, which is the longest name ever, Bare Face Beauty Cleansing Oil with almond and vanilla. I got this at Ulta for about $10. And I purchased it because my favorite cleansing oil is the Clinique one. It I've tried so many cleansing oils and cleansing balms to do a double cleanse method, and I feel like a lot of them are not that effective, especially the more affordable ones. But this one is actually pretty good. It's not quite as good as the Clinique or some of the other high-end ones that I've tried that I really like. Also, the MAC cleansing oil, that was one I used to use all the time, but I wanted to find a cheaper alternative, and this is actually quite good. And yeah, I've used up quite a bit of it. I will say that I do feel like I have to do a lot of pumps, probably four or five to get a really good, you know, cleanse of my makeup, but then I use my face wash afterwards and yeah. So yeah, this is probably the best affordable cleansing oil that I've tried. All right, two hair products and then the rest is makeup. Um, Verb Leave-In Mist. I have been really, really enjoying this because I've been able to have my hair more straight because of this. I don't wear my hair straight a lot because it's so frizzy and no matter how much I straighten it, it's just frizzy. But for the last month and a half, I've been using this after I wash my hair and I really, really think that this helps. It looks like I have not even used that much and I've had it for a month and a half, but I just do two or three sprays after I wash my hair. I only wash my hair twice a week anyway. And yeah, it says detangle, defrizz, and condition. This is fantastic. I did purchase this myself, but I do have an affiliate link with Verb. If you are interested, you do get a discount. I'll put that in the description box, but I purchased this myself and I purchase a lot from this brand because it is such a good hair care brand. I like that it is really high quality and definitely works as a high end, but it's more on the affordable side. This is $18 and almost all their products are about $18 actually. So yeah, this is fantastic. I really do think it's made my hair more smooth and I've been wearing it straight more often. And then the other product is also from them. Again, I did buy this myself. This is the C Texture Spray. And this, so this says light hold, dry volume, and weightless grift. Weightless grit. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, this is a spray texture spray. Um, I kind of more just use this as a light hairspray. It's one of these type of cans. After I do my hair, whether I'm wearing it in a ponytail or down, whatever, like this, I just spray a little bit at the end and I do feel like it adds a tiny bit of hold. I am not a hairspray person because I think it makes my hair too crunchy. This does not make my hair crunchy. It just adds a bit of hold and it keeps it from also um, getting staticky, which I like. So. Yeah, that is really fantastic. Alrighty, let's get into the makeup. A few of these things are newer, and a lot of these I've had for a while. The newer products you may have just seen in a haul, but I pre-filmed that haul, and the stuff I'm showing here I did get at the very beginning of June. So FYI, I've had this for a while. Um, the first one is this Juvia's Place Concealer. I got this at the very beginning of June. My color is 21. I really do like this. This is absolutely fantastic concealer. It is a lot of coverage though. It has a large doe foot applicator. It's a lot of coverage, but I really like it. And it's not too drying on my under eyes. I really like a creamy concealer. I have very dry under eyes, so I don't like a drying concealer. And 
This is great. I'm really enjoying this. I think this is about $16 and I got it at Ulta. This is something I got in BoxyCharm a couple weeks ago and I've been really enjoying it. It is the Touch and Soul Glassy Skin Balm. It kind of just feels like a moisturizer, honestly, and it looks like a moisturizer. But I've been using this as one of two primers. I've been double priming. So I do my usual moisturizer and then I sit down to do my makeup and I put this on and then I put a little bit of pore filling primer, the Benefit Porefessional, like just right here and on the nose area where I have large pores. And I gotta say, this is a really nice and smoothing. I really like it and it does add some hydration as well. I feel like foundation wears really, really well under this. So I'm pretty impressed. I had never even heard of that product before. I had heard of the brand, but I've never tried it. So that was pretty cool. I have since canceled BoxyCharm though. And I gotta say, I don't regret it because I don't know, I feel like it was kind of a lot of products coming in at once. Although I really liked almost everything I got in BoxyCharm, but maybe I'll sign up again at some point. But for now, I'm glad to be taking a break. Um, then we have a bronzer. I've been using this bronzer a lot. It is the Bare Minerals Bronzer in Faux Tan. I've talked about this a lot. I feel like it's really weird looking in the pan. It looks very gray and muddy, but on the face, it doesn't look like that. I have it on as a contour today and I really like it. I've, I've used it for all over bronzing, but also contouring because it is on the more neutral side. So for me, it works as a contour. I can't use very cool toned um, contours because they look really gray and muddy because I have a lot of warm undertones, so it's just too harsh. I prefer a neutral contour. So yeah, I can use this as bronzer, contour, and it's really great. I've mentioned though before in another video, it has a slight smell like a fake tanner. FYI, it's very mild, it doesn't bother me, but if you are sensitive to scents, something to be aware of. And then the other contouring slash whatever type product has been my ABH contour kit. I've been loving this for the last like three months. I've had this for a long, long time. I think I've had this for three years. I have fallen in love with this. I actually like all three shades to contour with. And then what I've been doing is at the very end of my makeup, I mix these two. This is more of like a pink powder. This is a yellow banana powder. I just mix a little bit of those together and sweep it under my under eyes. And it really brightens. It's fantastic. I've been loving this. And yeah, this is such an old product in my collection. Glow kits were very popular on YouTube probably five years ago. Nobody talks about this anymore, but I like it. But something to be aware of with contour kits is that every shade may not work for you, but everything in this one does work for me. This is the one in light to medium, but they do have a medium to dark or you can customize it on their website. That is a really good contour kit, but there's a lot of contour kits on the market and there's a lot of banana type powders, but that's what I've been enjoying. Okay, for blush, I've actually used this a lot. This wasn't a shop my stash and been loving these. These are all Tarte blushes that are depotted from the big blush book two or three. I don't even remember which one I bought, honestly. So, you know, they're all discontinued, but they're really good quality and I've been using them a lot. And then also I've been using this blush. This is Kalon Cosmetics in Georgia Peach. It is a gorgeous peachy blush. I talked about this in my haul. I got this at the beginning of June and this is beautiful. This is $10, is an indie brand. And I really wanna try more indie brands. That's something that I want to get more into. I've definitely tried a good amount, but I wanna try more indie brands. That's kind of something I want to purchase more for the rest of the year. Alrighty, this highlighter has been amazing. I talked about it in my haul and I've talked about it in a lot of other videos actually. I got this also at the beginning of June. This is from JD Glow. This is also an indie brand and this is their highlighter in Saks and Fifth. And it is a beautiful gold. I love it. It's kind of like a white gold, shifts a little bit to a more yellow gold. It is kind of glittery though. So something to be aware of if you don't like glittery highlighters, but I am so impressed with this. It is fantastic. It is very intense. These are $16 and yeah, I think this packaging is super luxurious and nice, you know, especially at that price point and I really do like it. Also, their lip gloss. I really do like this. This is in the color So What. I talked about these in my haul also and I'm wearing this gloss today. 
it is so nice absolutely fantastic the only thing i don't like is that it is a brush tip applicator you know that's my only qualm with it but it is a really beautiful formula not too sticky adds a lot of shine it's good like i said i really want to try more indie brands i have a lot on my list but yeah i think it's also nice to support smaller businesses as well but also their products are really good because the things i have from indie brands you know, JD Glow and many others are really, really high quality. Two more lip products and the rest is eyeshadow. BFF Lip Liner by ColourPop. I've talked about this so much on my channel. It's just a nude lip liner, but I've been using this a lot, almost every day. I'm wearing it today. Absolutely fantastic. Just a neutral color, you know, kind of a beigey color really really nice though i love the color pop formula i've said many times my favorite lip liner formulas are color pop and pat mcgrath big price difference there the pat mcgrath lasts longer on the lips though i've noticed whereas this is a bit softer and tends to disappear a little bit quicker that doesn't really bother me that much but something to be aware of absolutely love that formula and that color i've been wearing non-stop and then lip gloss again I know I've talked about the Pat McGrath lip glosses a lot, but I truly love them and I'm wearing them all the time. This color, I didn't even realize I had. This came in one of those mini sets. She has several mini sets on her website and on Sephora. That's what I would recommend if you're not sure what color to get because you can get three colors for $25, whereas one full size is $28 for one gloss. This is the color Divine Rose and Divine Rose 2 palette has been huge on YouTube. Everybody's been talking about it. I really want to buy it, but it's also very expensive. So I'm kind of see if I can wait for her to have a sale. She does pretty good sales on her websites a couple times a year. Yeah, it's a $125 palette, so I don't feel comfortable just kind of jumping on that right away. But I do love her eyeshadow formula. So this is just a mauve color. I was wearing this in my recent haul video. This is so beautiful. I love this color. Yeah, so she was re-promoting it with the release of that palette, but I realized, oh, I already had it. Crazy. So that kind of made me feel a little bit better that I already had this gloss. Um, yes, this formula, though, I've talked about it a lot. So shiny, so smooth, very luxurious. One of the best gloss formulas I've ever tried. Let's get into eyeshadow. I have been in love with this palette. This is Juvia's The Berries. This is so beautiful. I've been wearing a lot. I have ended up putting this in a project pan to get more usage and I am in love. This is such a beautiful palette. I've done a whole review swatches tutorial on this palette and actually last week I did put two tutorials on my YouTube channel as a part of my version video of two different new palettes and I use this one in my version of the new Melt Cosmetics She's in Parties palette and I did a tutorial at the end of the video so I'll link that in the description box if you want to see that. This is so beautiful. Purple, burgundy, beautiful. And I love the Juvia's formula so I'm really been trying to use my mini palettes more because I've said many times I tend to neglect my smaller palettes and also my monochromatic palettes, but I've been using that one a ton. Another palette favorite, this is a newer palette. I bought it at the end of May, the Viseart Warm Mattes. I have been using this in some shape or form every single day since I got this palette. This is a fantastic matte formula. The colors are not unique at all. They are warm matte colors, you know, with a red, an orange, and a yellow but this formula is fantastic. I would say try to get it on sale though. This is $80 full price. I had a coupon, well, it was actually on sale on the Viseart website. This is where I purchased it. So I got it for $64, which to me actually feels like a good deal considering how high quality these are. I don't regret buying this at all. It is very, very beautiful. And I actually did add a little bit of this yellow to my crease today. I'm wearing the Maybelline Lemonade Craze palette. And that palette is just not that pigmented. I really have to build up the shadows. So I added a bit of this yellow to it because it just was not as pigmented as I wanted. And yes, this is a fantastic companion palette. I mean, you obviously could do beautiful all matte looks with it. I tend to more use it in conjunction with other palettes and yeah, it's just 
really nice. The quality is fantastic. And these are actually magnetic. They do pop out of here. Amazing. I'm really, really glad that I finally tried Viseart. And I gotta say, based on that palette and the quality of those matte shadows, I do think it's worth the hype to me. <laughs> then last up are my Dose of Colors palettes. The newest one I have is the Blushing Berries. Absolutely beautiful. I did use this in that Melt Cosmetics My Version video if you want to see that. And I'm loving that one. This is a much older one. I really do like this one, the Marvelous Mauves. These are purpley, more cool tone shades. And I like to use this in conjunction when I'm doing like a pink or purple look to really help blend things out. Again, I don't usually use these palettes on their own because they are only five eyeshadows and all matte. I do tend to use them in conjunction with other palettes, but again, you could get beautiful all matte looks out of these. And then the baked browns, you know, again, this is like the Viseart one. These are, you know, not unique at all, but this formula is beautiful. These are a bit powdery, but they blend very easily. Absolutely fantastic. Very pigmented. Really, really do like these. These are $32. However, I did see that Dose of Colors is having a sale on their website, at least on the day that I'm filming this video. I got mine, two of them I got from Ulta, and then the Berries one I got from the BoxyCharm pop-up. But yeah, I really do like these. They have changed the packaging though. I don't think I like the new packaging as much. I like this more, but it's it's still the same you know, format, but they just changed this the way that this looks a little bit and they changed the font, but it's not that big of a change, but I prefer the old packaging. Alrighty, that is it for this favorites video. A lot of things I've been loving and using a lot lately. Let us know what are some of your recent favorites. That is it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.